Welcome to the half hour to health. Okay, now enzymes. This is pretty important, only if you want to uh, see things that are considered impossible. I'm going to show you a quick video on reversing disease, but we're also going to talk about healthy blood. If you've got healthy blood, you've got healthy cells. But first off, you've got to know what enzymes are. Now, I'm going to make you some zucchini pasta. I'm also going to show you a short video on a fella that, uh, he's got an interesting story. But first, first let, let's look at enzymes. Now, enzymes are proteins. Now, these are proteins that actually do a chemical reaction. Now, you've got thousands of chemical reactions that occur every second in your body. Without enzymes, they don't occur. If you don't produce enzymes or don't have enzymes, you can't, you can't get the appropriate chemical reactions. Now, they don't change themselves. So far, we've identified 5,000 enzymes. 10,000, they say minimum, are supposed to be uh, identified. But just look at the two different, different types, catabolism and metabolism. Catabolism means it's breaking down. So you've got these enzymes that break down um, nutrients, substrates, other proteins, so you could utilize them. Now this is huge because just in the, in the respiratory tract, um, cytochrome is an enzyme that breaks down oxygen and hydrogen, so you're able to utilize the oxygen. Now, there's two main types, and this is huge. Metabolic enzymes, they're responsible for building your body because each day you build a billion cells. Without enzymes, you don't build healthy cells. You build sick cells. Digestive enzymes uh, are how you actually break down the food products. And this is huge because in order to preserve food, they have to remove the digestive enzymes. Guess what that does to your body? You have to utilize your own digestive enzymes that your body produces because you produce your own, and I'm going to show you which ones. But if you use those digestive enzymes to break down food, they're not going to be available to protect you from diseases like cancer and heart disease and, and a, a host of other diseases. And in fact, those diseases are getting so popular, they're now calling it metabolic syndrome. If you ever see the word syndrome on anything, get scared because it means they haven't a clue. <laughs> okay, it really does. The carpal tunnel syndrome, fibromyalgia syndrome. Okay, it means these people are suffering, but they really don't know what it's from. Now, they say it's linked to 75% of all diseases. I'm going to tell you tonight that they're starting to view tests in a different light. Okay, and this is going to take a while. They say to change an idea, you have to wait for a generation to die out. So you got a choice. Either we wait for this generation of doctors to die out, or we listen to the progressive ones that are actually a step ahead of the game. Have you heard of penicillin? Yeah. When, that w when that first came out, it took 30 years to, for that to get in the medical world, and it saved millions and millions of lives. Have you heard of hand washing before surgery? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm talking about basic stupid stuff. Do you know the guy that, Semmelweis is the guy that said, told his interns they had to wash their hands before giving birth, and what they found out was he was put in an insane asylum for talking crazy like that. Okay, and it stopped childbed fever. So what, what we're going to learn tonight is blood tests that show high lipids, high sugar, and high protein. What that means doesn't mean that you have high blood. It means that you've got toxic levels of this in your bloodstream. Um, now, first off, your body produces certain glands, it, it, or it produces certain enzymes. And these break down or alkalinize food. Uh, it begins in that, you know, you got to chew your food, that's where the saliva ones, the st stomach produces certain enzymes. But this, everything in here, we used to think, and this is the old thinking, because remember, there was a time in the world that the most brilliant minds on the planet could prove to you, using scientific and imperial data, that the world was flat. It's not. Okay, if, if anyone's up on the latest science, the world is actually round. Okay, and we've known this for a few centuries, but, but right now, what they're saying now is the digestive tract isn't for digestion. It doesn't break it down. It changes the chemical structure of the food. This is the new idea. The digestive system is not designed for digestion. It's designed for alkalinizing the food in preparation of becoming new blood than new cells. This means that this whole system, this whole digestive tract, it's designed to change the structure of food so that it gets into blood and you can utilize it for cells, which is radically different because if you take in food in your system that's devoid of enzymes, you get massive disease results. 
Okay, now I'm going to show you, because I'm going to actually, yeah, oh, good, yeah, yeah. First, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to make pasta out of zucchini. And yes, I did wash my hands just now, so it's okay. I'm going to make this, and we're going to have two different types. One, we're going to have a delicious tomato sauce, and the other one's going to have homemade pesto. And I'm going to show you how to make homemade pesto sauce. Okay, does anyone know how to make homemade pesto? Oh my gosh, it takes seconds. Okay, and we're going to have two different varieties, and we have two small people that are going to be helping us deliver it. <laughs> Where's the other one? Good, there you are. Good. Okay, they'll be delivering it. So you just need to say garlic or the tomato sauce or both. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of tasters for everybody. But first, I want to show you this short video of a guy. Now, if I was to tell you there was a 411 pound trucker, would you say, wow, that's a picture of health? 411 pound trucker, picture of health, right? Sturdy guy eating. No, you're shaking your heads. No. Okay, you're right. Now, this is a four minute segment of Raw Food Dave. Now, he's going to talk a lot about how his body recovered because he, was, he had stage two colon cancer. His kidney um, was damaged, it needed to be removed. He had a lot of different health problems and instead of going along, although he was taking over 20 prescriptions, instead of going along with that medical protocol that he saw at the end result he was going to die, um, he decided to take charge of himself. And in 13 months, he reversed cancer and reversed a couple of things. But I thought it might be interesting to hear him from his perspective. Um, the biggest thing that he did, now I don't know if anyone saw, but I'm not cutting the top half of these only because I wanted to see if I could make pasta for like 30 people in the length of the video, and I did. Two bowls. <laughs> so I went for volume and speed. But does it take long to prepare raw pasta? No, it's super quick, super quick. Now this this is just a tomato basil sauce. Did you make it? Uh, this one, no. This one's uh, Paul Newman's, so it's not completely raw. Um, I was going to make it, but I ran out of time. But Paul Newman's is really good. Yeah, it's all organic. It has organic products, but it's cooked. Um, this one, is this baby plugged in? Okay. Now, inside here, there's about half a dozen garlic cloves. There's a bunch of basil. Now, basil's got certain oils in it that actually increase your immune system and clean, clean your blood. We're going to put just a little bit of olive oil in here. And this is extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. Yeah, the thing is the thing. Now, now, what's neat is if you're looking at the amount of oil I'm putting in here, you might say, oh my gosh. Isn't that a lot of calories? No, it's not, because you're not going to be eating at all. Okay, it moistens and it goes through your body. Your body actually knows how to utilize it. Now this, if you know anything about acids, this is a lemon. Okay, this actually breaks down food. So if you can use in raw cooking any type of uh, lemon, it'll actually cook the food a little bit. Now here, then a little bit of water that's filtered, and then sea salt. And this, the pesto takes literally seconds. And it's got nothing but antimicrobials, antivirals. It's phenomenally good for you. Just stuff. I don't want this to be a cooking class, but I want you to see that you can make actually really good, tasty food pretty quick. Everything is designed to get the good quality blood. Anything you put in your mouth is going to get into the bloodstream. So if you have healthy blood, you have a healthy body and you can resist disease. If you have sick blood, you're going to die early. Okay, enough is enough. Everything gets in the bloodstream. Everything. Please drive this point home. If you put a Big Mac in here, it breaks down into the antibiotics, protein, and hormones that it is. It gets in the bloodstream. If you get soluble fibers, okay, which is what this is, you get living enzymes, your body can reverse diseases at virtually any stage.